Today we're going to be surviving 100 days but in hardcore Minecraft, with the only catch being not dying. If we die once, we lose the world and we'll be forced to delete it forever. Here we go again. <sighs> first things first, we need to get some wood. Crafting table, boom, some sticks, now let's get some cobble. Back to getting some wood. Alright, now we got a stack of spruce logs and now I just need to find a spot, maybe find some animals. Wow, I found a luscious cave. I did not expect a luscious cave already. I can't believe I just found 52 coal in one thing. And here's iron. That's good. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm gonna have to go all the way around outside of the cave to even just see if I can survive. Looks like it's starting to turn dark outside, so we're just gonna probably chill here till morning. Okay, so my plan is actually to get out of this cave. There's a bit of a problem. It's nighttime and there's multiple skeletons. You get me? No. Hey, get me out, get me out. There's a zombie. There's creepers. We're dead. Get me out, get me out, get me out. Where am I gonna go? A neighboring cave? Okay, good. We can just chill here, it looks like. Not the best starts in my world, let me tell you. It is officially day one, and I need to find a home and some food. Working my way up this hill right now, there is a chance that I could be living here. Okay, it is a cherry blossom. And sheep! I'm sorry. <gasps> village! There's a village right there, too. And there's some snow! Well, this might be better than I actually thought. Now I just cannot die. Alright, I really don't want to die, so I'm just gonna cook my food now. Definitely do think this is the easiest method to get up a hill. Heading on to the village right now. And this village does look really lovely. Got some food for me. I'll be taking all that. And a blacksmith! Okay, this could be huge. Ooh, you know what? We'll take it. Yeah, this village is bigger than I thought. Oh, there's a baby. Good, now we can get infinite food with this. Let me quick sleep at the villager's house. Hey, kid, watch out. I'm oh, just kidding. I can't sleep yet. Yeah, I know this is awkward. Oh, zombie! Oh, no. I'm just trying to sleep. I really do like this village, and I want to save it. And in my last 100 day, obviously, I died, and I had, like, a village, like, surrounded by fence. I might do the exact same thing. Just to get started, and then I'll be building off my own stuff, my own houses. Right, dude? Now, the problem is, this might be a lot harder than it was last time. Just simply because it's actually on a hill. And going up and down with the fences might be a little bit harder. I just realized, if I'm doing spruce wood, I feel like I should do spruce all the way around. So we're definitely going to need a lot more spruce wood. Now we just need more saplings, and then we gotta do the exact same thing. Except this might be a long waiting game. Now the question is, where do I want to start with this? I might just start right here. Yeah, so for fences, I'm just gonna have to do them like too high like this, almost. <laughs> Okay, I've realized that we are still so short. We're not even halfway done, and we just went through a lot. I don't know if I can do it all in spruce right away. I might just have to do some in oak and just hope that it looks decent at least. This can be like a starter, we can say. Oh, I found some emeralds. Wait, I can't even get that. I need a pickaxe first. I'll be back for you emeralds one day. Just watch as the sun goes down. Working on our project. Actually, while we're at it, let's just make an iron pick. Like I said, I will be back for you emeralds. All right, about two stacks of oak logs. Hopefully this will be enough now. I mean, just look how much wood we have. About four stacks of oak fences. This better be enough. Cat, you better stay here, cat. You don't want to leave. You got to stay inside the village. Come on. You too. Whoa, that's a big cave. Villagers, you are lucky. Hey, Emerald. You are lucky that you're in the safe zone. <gasps> Creeper. No! Run, villagers, run! Now you're gonna be in the safe zone? Get up there. Come on. I thought this was gonna be enough, but we're still pretty far out. Oh my. Okay, now we need to get more wood because we're out again. Hopefully this will be the last time. Okay, we have four iron left. Let's make boots. And now that is full iron armor. Okay, we should be safe. Come on, we're so close. Please tell me we have enough. I don't think we're gonna have enough. No. I run away. No way. I have no wood either. Okay, we're gonna be back over here just to get some one piece of wood. All right, our final one for now. Here we go. This entire village and more land is now finally enclosed. No, no they didn't ever leave. <laughs> Sorry for doing that. But now I just really want to quick get some cows in here so we can start a farm so we can get a library. Maybe get some mending. I don't know. Try to get mending this time. I'm just going to make the cow farm in here. And one fence right here. Now we actually got to go find some cows. All I have to do is bring them back to the base. Hey, hey, come here. And slowly but surely, this should work. There we go. Now they can have babies. All right, I'm sorry to do this to one of the cows, but please drop leather. 
Okay, good, it did. I'll be back for you guys later. Now what we can do is actually make a bookshelf. Next, we need some slabs. Just like this, we have a lectern. You, sir, do not have a job. Therefore, you cannot leave. All right, sir, today you finally get a job. Thorns? That's not bad. I don't know how rare it is to get mending, but hopefully it gives me mending. No, dude, get... Ooh, infinity. I would actually like that. I'll just quick get an easy achievement right here. Come here. Easy. There we go. Tactical fishing. Now, our goal is to get a lot of clay so we can trade it for some emeralds. Okay, now we need to find this villager. All right, let's make a trade. 17 emeralds. Okay, now we have a lot. And 20 stone for emerald is really good. Dude, this guy is plugging. I feel bad for him being trapped like this. Now, I did forget. I actually do need sugarcane to make paper to make a book. We got to go find some sugarcane. Maybe even start a farm really quick. All right, now we can quick do another achievement as it's burning down my area. Let's really quick stop this. Stop the fire. No. No, quit it. Quit it. Found some sugar cane. It's been a little while. I'll be taking that. Thank you. Being to rain. Oh no, this could be bad. Sadly, could only find four sugar cane, but this will have to do. All right, this is our farm so far. Now we gotta quick breed you guys. Now I need to find this man right here. I'll do as much as you can do. Thank you so much, sir. 29 emeralds and a book. I believe we can now get this infinity for the bow. Oh wait, it changed. Wait, does he automatically change? Well, that's not what I wanted. Hey, wait, how did you... What? You jumped over? Protection two, that's not too bad. Power five is really good. There we go, here's infinity. I'm gonna do this one. Cause my last hardcore world, you guys know I needed a lot of arrows. So I think this is gonna be really key for this one. Okay, wow, we're already 10 days into Minecraft. I'd love to see if I can get mending. Oh, the skeleton, get back. Okay, I need to make an iron shovel because one of my plans is to actually go mining here for some more iron. <gasps> actually, we had a sugar cane just grow. Farm is starting to work and oh, there's two villagers down here. Dude, where have you guys been? Have you guys been stuck down here? I was wondering where the villagers are. I'll give you guys a bit of a platform. Why don't you guys take on a job? Okay, yeah, these guys aren't worth it right now. Oh, there's an enderman. Okay, big brain play. Thank you, creeper. There's another creeper? Okay, yeah, this cave goes pretty far down. I wouldn't mind finding some diamonds down here. Oh my. Okay, that was way too close of a call. Honestly, I have a feeling I could die in this cave. Oh my. What is this? This place is huge. I might be able to build something so sick down here if I don't die, first of all. Come here. Will there be any diamonds on this level? We are on level 15, so I think we can still find some diamonds. Oh, chain armor. I could definitely see myself building something really cool in here. I probably won't work on a project like this for a long time, especially since I'm not, like, stacked into armor. Not this. Oh, there's a lot of iron in this vein. There's eight pieces? That's a lot. That's not a little over a stack of iron. I actually found so much iron during this trip. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm dead. <laughs> Oh my, oh my life, oh my life. I'm stuck with this bat. Oh, there's amethyst in there, bro. <gasps> Baby zombie, baby zombie. No, no, and a skeleton. No. He's still chasing me. I'm just happy we made it out alive. We finally have an anvil. And I'm pretty sure if we just combine these two, I should be able to get a bow. Yep, infinity. There we go. And as long as we have one arrow on it, we still keep our arrows. Let's go. Now it's time for the daily feeds. Okay, well, one of you guys go inside. Fortune 2 is actually really good because I can get more diamonds, more stuff like that. I need you to stay here, bud. We need 23 emeralds. We have 15. How are we going to get more emeralds? All right, we do need to get all new tools. There's the axe. There's the pickaxe. There's the sword. And there's the shovel. I'm pretty sure once we get 20 stone, we can trade our 20 stone for an emerald. I'll be back with more stone. You stay there. Okay, now these trades are bad. It's all right because that guy, we're going to call him Jerry. Jerry's plugging us. We need two more emeralds. I'm sorry, cows, but it must be done. I need one piece of leather. There's our book. And just like that, we should have enough emeralds. I'm gonna come over here and please let me buy Fortune 2. Now, the only problem with Fortune 2 is that it's gonna have to be on an iron pick for now, which is gonna be a real bummer. I know this is not gonna be worth it, but let's go get some stuff now. Okay, we actually almost just died. There we go. There's a take aim achievement. Okay, here's some iron. Let's see how much we get then. Another gold armor skeleton? Why is there three endermen right there? Okay, from four pieces, we got seven pieces. Okay, this is actually going to be good. Torchon 2 so far, we've so far doubled our profit. I think this is a pretty decent investment then. Hello there. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Where's our shield? So many close calls. Dude, oh, I never looked at the enderman. I never looked at him. I never looked at him. We're dead. We're dead. Dude, bro, bro, bro. I never looked at you. I never looked at you. He can like two shot me. Nah, nah. Oh my god. Bro, bro, chill, chill, chill. Did he give up? 
No way. How am I alive? How am I alive? I have no idea how we made it out of that alive. I really need food, so I gotta go find some animals. Store up on some food, and then we can go back mining. Cave entrance looks so cool. Oh, I like. it's like a ravine. I like this a lot. You can't tell me building a huge castle up there, like going down into like a village off this hill would not be sick. Yeah, we're definitely doing some crazy builds if we survive even 100 days in this world. All right, we now made it home, and now I gotta start just cooking all this food. This also might seem dumb, but can you go like this? You can. We got it. We got it. 37 emeralds and a book. Okay. You have to stay here no matter what. You cannot ever, ever leave. Oh, we got mending. We finally got mending. That literally took so long. You know, so I had to go look for some diamonds here so we can put mending on our diamond stuff. Four iron for emeralds now too? No, that's like actually perfect. Okay, we're actually starting to cook now. Let's go. Wait, why did you raise the iron by one but the coal down by one? What you doing? I think it's finally time to start mining and actually see if we can find some diamonds. Because if I can find some diamonds, I'm doing that mending one right away. Okay, I think we're ready to go down. We gotta be careful. We've almost died like the last five times. There's three skeletons. Like that, we have over a stack of coal already. Now I feel like we can actually go mining now. So I need to find a lot of iron to trade. And then I also feel like gold will always be good to get. Especially if we start like planning for the nether once we do get diamonds. Here, are ba oh, <gasps> Yep, I see a baby zombie too. That's what you get. We should have a lot of iron after this. Yeah, we already have 35 pieces. This is literally so intense for what? The run and go with the torches is gonna be clutch. There's definitely gonna be some diamonds down here. <gasps> oh my god, no. No, it's the witcher or the warden. We're in the warden biome right under my base is the warden. That's literally the worst thing ever that could happen. Oh my. Dude, why are there so many just zombies after me all the time? Oh my, it's the warden. It's the warden stuff, but there's diamonds right there. I need to get my first diamonds. Okay, thank you. Okay, we gotta get our first diamonds though. Oh, there's more diamonds right there. Okay, we got our first two diamonds. We got our three diamonds, and, but we have five total. There we go. See, I don't mess with like any of the warden stuff, especially since I still don't even really know what it is. We got achievement. Any more diamonds around here? No, I can't be dealing with this. I really want diamonds, but going down there is just not worth it at this point. I just gotta hope and pray I can like find diamonds on this level, which I don't even know if you can. Oh wait, he dropped me a chain. Let's go. Pretty sure chain armor is still kind of rare. Ah, there's a potato. <gasps> oh, it's a mob spawner. Let's go. No wonder why zombies keep coming. Thorns one. Mob spawner being right here is gonna be really big for XP levels. Now I still have yet to actually like learn how to make one, but maybe we can make one during this hardcore series. Diamonds. Oh, it's more than one. It's multiple. Oh, it's multiple. More diamonds. Oh my god. Wait. Oh, there's skeletons. Dude, why are there 10,000 zombies out every time? Oh, more diamonds. 18 total. Oh, more diamonds. Okay, while I'm down here, I want to make it the best armor I can right now. Okay, we're looking pretty fancy so far. Oh, wait. There's diamonds all the way up there. Running torch. Running torch. Oh, there's multiple diamonds. Come on, creeper. Blow up. More diamonds. And more diamonds. Having a bow is really clutch, especially if I'm like mining for diamonds. I'm pretty much safe at all times from any distance. Oh, wait. There's another diamond right here. See a lot more diamonds down there. Pretty sure some more diamonds over here. Yep, I did. Three. <gasps> Wait, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Is that the most ever? Is that the most ever in a vein? I feel like I just broke like a record there. There's more diamonds. I want to say like we actually like just broke a record for the most diamonds in a vein. I think I saw someone get fifteen and we just got sixteen there. Wait, there's a slime? I'm just glad I remember like my way home. Okay, to make full diamond armor, all we need are boots again, and boom, we have full diamond armor again. Ooh, twenty-five emeralds for efficiency three and unbreaking three that is a pretty good trade once i get mending i might have to get that next we need to make is a pickaxe make a sword let's put thorns one on okay we have some enchanted armor look at us you can't really tell it's enchanted but it's enchanted this final trade is sweeping edge two i'm not gonna worry about that one all right we finally have 40 emeralds we just need a book i'm sorry i have to do this again cows now with the book we should be able to get mending thank you very much let's go now we permanently have a mending trader pickaxe right here there we go now we got mending okay we got mending on we got enchanted armor Armor. we're looking good in this world we're on day 21 right now and honestly for 21 days in i'm not doing too bad i'm i'm going kind of slow but we're going at the right pace i think i'm excited to start building some stuff i think we need to start building like maybe like a librarian or something where we can enchant cows i believe you know what time it is no no oh. anyone tries to leave they're done for let me tell you we're actually gonna get obsidian because i want to make another portal and i want to make an enchantment table i feel like those two things are going to be very important for this series but obviously if i want to like advance and do stuff i'm going to need those how's mending doing what up, Mending? How you doing? Let's just head on over and get some obsidian really quick. Wait, I skipped past two emeralds. What is that noise? Oh, it's a zombie villager.
The ice bucket challenge. Do you mind? Oh my, oh my. Oh yes, the sugar cane's actually growing. Okay, I have to make a book. Because with the book, we get the enchantment table. Now I gotta find a good spot for this. I just basically gotta think, where would I want an enchantment room? And honestly, what better than probably down here? I could probably do something really cool down here. It does lead into a cave though, which is quite worrying. Hmm. I'm actually just gonna put the enchantment table here for now. Kind of like in the middle, like leading into it. So you come in, you can see the like the library right away. Now, the problem I have is I literally have no flint. I just gotta find one piece of flint. No flint in this entire area. Uh, tell me there's at least one piece of gravel. <gasps> oh, oh. He's running away. He's scared. He's scared. How hard is it to find one piece of gravel? Gravel in here either? Last time I check, usually anytime I try to build anything, it's always just gravel, gravel, gravel. But now there literally is just no gravel anywhere. Gravel. We have people who want to ruin it. Oh, finally. Now we got our one piece of flint. We should just be able to create, yep, a flint and steel. Now let me really quick find an area where I want to put this. I'm having some visions of kind of just like putting it in a cave like this almost. I think if I just like put it somewhere in here and then I like I build around it like we entering the nether. I think that design could actually do pretty well. Okay, let's make this nether portal. Do I want it like this? Yeah, I'm just gonna do it like in the corner like this. We do gotta remove some of this roof. All right, the vibe of this is gonna have to do for now. If I really don't like the spawn, I guess I could always move it. First time in another though, I am really scared. Please just get a decent spawn. Okay, <gasps> the spawn actually looks good. Okay, I like this spawn where we're not too much in of a mess. Okay, yeah, this spawn is really good. I'm happy and I'm excited for this. Oh, right next to us is a basalt biome. Oh, okay, we gotta be careful of that. Overall, a really good spawn. Guys, you know what time it is. Gather around, gather around. I was just trying to do some math, and this is gonna take a while to actually get all the books we need. Oh, this is gonna be a long, painful journey. So one thing I wanna work on now, and I know this has been a problem, is you guys see around the entire fence, you can just like kinda like jump over or walk over. I wanna make sure you guys can't do that. I'm gonna go around this entire fence, kinda getting rid of like the one block around it. This is gonna be a very interesting process, but let's just see how it's gonna go. I already messed up. But to do this as well, we're going to need a lot of wood. Because I'm still going to have to do all the fences. Okay, we got a stack. I think a stack should be enough. How did he get right here? Okay, I'm starting to like this. Now, this is gonna be risky and stupid, but I'm gonna have to destroy this tree. I don't like this at all, but we're going for it. Oh my god, we're dead. They're chasing me! I'm so sorry, bees. I feel like I should bring down the fences all the way down here. I'm not gonna worry about it because I'm gonna eventually do like a really nice wall around the entire village. Just for the basics and probably just this 100 day world, I'm just gonna keep it like this. All right, you guys have to subscribe to the channel if I get a chicken. Okay, well, please subscribe still. What they say, second time's the charm. It's not the charm. Um, sir, do you mind? Look, man, I'm just trying to keep this village. Hey, don't turn around when I'm talking to you. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm just, okay, walk away again. Oh shoot, Brock Purdy's in our game. <sighs> oh, we need some more wood again. We're almost done though. It's starting to look really nice. I'm liking the vibes of this. I can't wait till we do our actual own great wall around it though. What up, Jack? Now the one thing I have to do, which I haven't really started yet, and it's gonna be annoying, is I'm gonna have to go to the outside and do the exact same thing on the outside. So no foes can just jump in. I'm not trying to have like a creeper come in here, dress in a nice suit, 360, get over the fence. All right, I think we're done. Think we are pretty much done. I think these are our last two right here. Probably cover this up. I want to say we're done on this side fully now. The nice thing is now we have to do it on the outside, but the outside should be a lot easier. I'm not going to be destroying blocks like this. I'm going to be destroying blocks like this on the edges or just any that are just connected to the fence at all. Side starting to look good. I think this side is pretty much all good as well. There's a couple over here to destroy. 
Oh wait, this one might be annoying. Now we're on this side. We're on the last side of the fence and then we're done. Is that it? Oh, no, I left two blocks. Yeah, I believe that is it. It should be. Let's go. Now, I know this wasn't like a crazy build or anything, but it's kind of nice we got this out of the way. Because now we don't need to worry about the outside of the wall for a little bit. Like I said, eventually I'd like to do something really cool around the entire thing. Now I want to build a little fountain right here. Like a little cute and fun mountain. I think a little, like a little cute. All right, okay. Cut everything. Definitely going to have to do some terraforming. Yeah, I was planning for a small fountain, but this fountain's gonna be a lot bigger than I thought. Now, a little side project I could work on is inside this hill right here. I could just make a storage room, at least for now, just throw a ton of chests in here. Okay, now I'm gonna just fill this in with cobblestone. There we go. I think the rest of these floors, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make it stone. I think stone's gonna look pretty clean with the cobblestone. I think it'll be smart to do one layer down. Now, this would be really nice if I had silk touch. I kind of like the stone right here. I know this might not seem like a big problem for other people, but I want to get rid of this dirt and just make a cobblestone. It's the small little details that are nice. Oh, skeleton. Wait, how are you even here? Wait, how did you even get here? Cows, you know what time it is. Oh my, dude. Look how many cows there are. Of course, there's going to be cows. We're on a cow farm. Okay, that's all of our floors now done. To kind of change up the build a bit, I'm going to go in the middle by four and then do stone out. Yeah, I'm seeing a vision. Oh, it's a raining day. Maybe you can fill the pond. And okay, now we have like a little platform. Okay. Okay, as you see, we kind of change up the fountain. And for now, I know this fountain does not look good. But this is the best I could do right now. It doesn't look bad. I'm going to add some more decorations around, I think. Another rainy day? I'm just trying to work out here, man. Okay, so what I did was I added stairs all along the side so someone can, like, just chill, dip their feet in if they want. They can just get out this way. I also added random buttons along the side, as you guys can see. I don't know, maybe decoration just kind of looks like there's rocks all over the place. Nothing pretty cool if we had, like, a bench right here, maybe. To make a bench, we have to make two beds. We also need some of the trap doors. I believe as long as we go, like, this, uh, three wide. Okay, I, oh, I did this wrong. Nope, I did it wrong again. There we go. Dude, there we go. Honestly, I'm going to move this one in. Now we have our signs. Okay. I mean, it just kind of looks like a bed right now. Honestly, I feel like I should change the beds around so they're facing... Yeah, instead of facing each other, I should face it this way. Should be our last one, and that should be a bench. Yeah, look, at we got two little benches now. This kind of looks nice. If you want, you can just sit at the bench. Just look at the beautiful Aww. water fountain. Yeah, I know it doesn't look the best, guys. Now, I don't know if this is going to look cool, but if I just bone meal this place so it looks like that's more, like, natural, kind of like this, it kind of looks like it's more natural. Let me destroy it in front. Yeah, it, it looks a bit more natural, I'd say. I don't know. I think for a starter fountain, this is good. Maybe I can make it better one day. I'm just kind of doing basic builds for this. Wait, I realize there's a wandering villager over here. Hey, hey, what are you doing in here? What are you doing in here? What you got to offer? Really nothing that I would ever want. Why are you here? And again, I'm kind of happy of this. I know it's not good. I know the benches are even lining up with this. I also made like this little pattern. I think right here is kind of cool. I'll probably do it around the exact same sides. Maybe a little bit different. I kind of want to get glowstone in here. That'll be a future project. I'm going to be working on my actual library because I'm going to need a lot of quartz. So that's why I can just go get glowstone. Anyway, we're kind of big balling right now. Is it time, cows? It's that day. Cows, breed. Keep on breeding. All right, I want to try one last thing. I look if I did stairs in here. All right, yeah, it gives it a little bit of a touch. Like I said, I'm going to be adding stuff throughout this. I'm working on a little bit of a storage area right now. It's obviously not going to be anything crazy, but I want to see if I can do something cool with this. But chill, I'm trying to work on some stuff. Yeah, I don't want any of your trades still. All right, I like this space a little bit more. And what if right in the middle we just throw a crafting table? And we'll make our first double chest. Now, what do I want to throw? I might just throw, like, food in, like, the first component. Like, maybe this section to make food. Maybe I go out this way, make a stone one, go down there, do dirt, etc. I'll sleep on the bench. Oh, good morning. Now, I did put my enchantment down there, and I think it's time to start getting some books. We have sugar cane. We need all the leather. All right, we have two bookshelves made for now, but we got to start getting some cows. I'm sorry, boys. All right, that'll do for now. Yeah, we still only have five bookshelves. All right, 16 should be enough. Okay, we have seven for now. We have to wait for more sugar cane to grow. We have a little bit of a start. Yeah, because I could get sweeping edge too if I wanted to. Now I said I was going to make this food a food section. For now, I'm just going to be dropping off some random stuff. As I'm going to take my leave to the nether.
Now we need a lot of quartz. I'm hoping to get fortune because this would be a lot easier with fortune. Ow. Oh, you scared me. Oh, it's my first guy. What? Oh, yeah, gas. Come here. Oh. No, come here. Come here. Oh, is that it? No. Gas. Oh, that went right through him. There we go. Now that we have 13 glowstone. Oh, dude, why did I think that was a creeper? All right, we had a glowstone all around. Honestly, I thought it was going to look a lot better, but it's all right. That's what I'm doing for the quartz. If you guys saw my last hardcore, I had quartz going around the entire library and brick on the floor. I'm thinking I'm going to do the opposite this time, though. Oh, there's a dark oak and a jungle. Okay, this is super, super interesting. I can get a lot of my good wood here. Now that we made it back home, we can now start cooking these four stacks of clay. I made four more bookshelves. I'm gonna have to make another diamond pick. Start experimenting what we can get. Like efficiency three is pretty good. Just gonna have to hold off and wait. Maybe we can somehow get fortune. I'd love fortune, fortune three. You know what time that is, Kyle? Start breeding again. I think creating a wheat farm up here would be kind of cool. Make a little start of this, and then I just keep like expanding up. All right, so this is what I have. I have like a little bit of farm. I want to expand all the way up here because I think I'm just going to give this whole entire village more color. I also like how I did like the trapdoors over the water. Maybe I could like create a path leading all the way up here. All right, here's what the brick kind of design looks like. It's going to be something cool, something unique. I've never done a design like this. So how's it going to turn out? This is going to be a project that's going to take a while. We'll worry about that later as we go on. I think it's time. I'm going to use 28 emeralds on efficiency three and on breaking three axe, and eventually we'll get mending. I'm fine with this axe. Get an overpowered axe. I'm going to go get some more quartz. Oh, agent debris. Let's go. We found our first one. There's one hidden in the depths. And there's our second one. There we go. We found two. I can't really do anything with this because I got to go to a bastion first and find something. Oh, wait. Is it another fortress? Well, yeah. Oh, we found another fortress. Okay. We actually have to be so careful right here. Oh, no. Is it just down here? Wait, there are four chests all right next to each other? Okay, there's nothing good in any of these chests. Dude, all these chests were really bad. <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Oh. <gasps> Wait, no, 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 no. Oh, my God, we're dead. Oh no, 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 no. Oh. oh, yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, you have three blaze rods. Oh, another blaze rod. There's so many normal skeletons. Okay. No, no, there's two more that spawn. No, it hit me. I got three of them spawn. They just keep spawning! No, 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 I did not mean to hit the piglins. Bro, you're in my way. This could be really bad, this could be really bad. How did the skeleton just spawn there? Oh my god, more just spawn, more just spawn. Alright, we have 12 blaze rods, we're out of here. Oh, they're down here now? Make that 13. Another one. No, 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 no.
So I got so mad that I'd even record me dying. I instantly left and I'd even go back onto the world because no matter what, I was going to die. And that's the end of this 100 day journey. If you guys want to see more and want to see me do this again, but actually do 100 days, please like and subscribe.